what is going on guys welcome to vlog number 12 if i'm not mistaken but today just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about just a way of being right that allows you allows a lot less stress in your life you know creates a lot more space for just inspiration and uh motivation and and just clarity i think clarity that's that's one of the most important things that you're going to need to be successful in any field so just having that having the mindset of knowing that everything that you want everything that you desire in your life will eventually come to fruition every vision that you have is will be brought to life your physical reality will be whatever you want it to be i've noticed especially in my past i used to try to chase the things i wanted i used to try to really force my way into certain situations or environments that i really desired to be a part of and it would always end up slipping out of my hands it would always run away from me because I was just super fearful. I was super fearful that I wasn't gonna get this thing. And, and I thought that I had to, you know, act a certain way or do something to actually attain that thing. The sense of like, the illusion that I'm in control of something, that I have to do everything I can. I have to work my ass off. I have to like really like just, completely forget about myself in the process and like become identified with whatever I'm trying to attain, right? I I I I thought that was the way of attaining anything I wanted. You know, that was the only way I knew of doing it. And obviously it would work, but it wouldn't be as fulfilling. It wouldn't it would just be it would be temporary and this kind of goes back to my other video if you haven't seen it uh i'll link it but temporary ecstasy speaking about just things that you know the, those pleasures that we chase you know to, to fill a void within us um i think that's because we identify so heavily with we we identify the thing that we want so heavily with happiness you know we we relate that to happiness we relate that to some sort of fulfillment when in reality it's not that that's how you get what you want and that's how you keep it right when we take that when we take the thing that we really want and we detach the definition of true fulfillment and happiness when we take that away then that offers so much more space for us to actually enjoy that thing and for it to flow in organically, for it to flow organically in our lives. We don't have to chase after it. Anything you want is already done for you. Anything you want in this life is like, the supply is infinite of whatever you want in this life. Material an ideal like relationship, an ideal uh, living situation, whatever it is, it's already out there for you, just know that. But when you've associated the thought of you prospectively going to be happy because you attain that one thing, then even when you, you know, inevitably get that thing because you've already implanted that in your mind and your mind, essentially, whatever you feed attention to will manifest in your reality, whether you want to believe that or not. Everything in your life right now is just a manifestation of who you were before, of who, what your thoughts were in your past, what your what your focuses were in your past. But you won't get to enjoy that thing and you won't be able to keep it because you're you're not treating it in a real state of you're not enjoying it out of in a real state of fulfillment you're not enjoying it in a, in a real state of completeness you're enjoying it in a state of lack you're enjoying it in a in a in a void and you're going to try to use that thing to fill the void and you'll realize that it never can the only person that can fill a void in your life is you 
And you have the capacity to do that by realizing that right now is the only moment you'll ever have to work towards your goals and your visions and anything right now. And to enjoy life, to like appreciate the small things, you know, like if you're if you're mom or your dad asks you to go get coffee in the morning or something like just say yes you know sometimes sometimes when we say no to the sometimes we say no to the wrong things you know we need to realize that we're always being led every opportunity is leading us to the next and it may lead us closer to where we want well it's all leading us closer to where we want to be but it's it's also leading us closer to ourselves every experience is just a reflection of an inner knowing that we need to get closer to our truth. We need to get closer to our inner truth. A lot of us are wearing masks. A lot of us are pretending to be something we're not. And life is constantly going to test you to see who you are, to, see, to show you who you really are, to be a mirror, because everything's a mirror. Everything's showing you who you are at your core. We can't hide who we are. We must be grounded in our truth. And we must realize that fulfillment doesn't come from things outside of us. Fulfillment doesn't come from the things we want. Fulfillment comes from the things that we have right now. So yeah, don't go chasing. Don't go chasing. Just know that it's all done effortlessly. It's all done effortlessly. Of course, you have to put in your two cents and, and do your daily habits, do your daily actions that are going to lead you to being in the being in a fit position to attain the goal. But the opportunity is going to be there. Just prepare. Just be prepared. That's the only thing. That's all you have to do. Just be prepared. Show up for yourself every day. But realize that, that it's all done for you. Find Find gratitude in the present moment. Be grateful for everything you have in your life right now. Because tomorrow it may not be the same. In a year from now, it definitely won't be the same. So it's just, just don't get caught in that, in that cycle. Don't get caught in the, in the hamster wheel of like not knowing what's going, you know, and don't get caught in the hamster wheel of indecision and uncertainty because it, it can run forever. It can run forever if you allow it. You just have to take a step off the wheel and appreciate it, you know, appreciate the experience and try to see what it's trying to teach you. Try to see what you're, you're going to really gain out of this experience. It's all, it's all teaching you something and it's all leading you somewhere. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.